Hey guys, I'm Brian Warren uh, here with Uncharted Supply Co. I'm a full time professional mountain guide. Uh, working in basically every mountain range you can imagine all across the world. And we're here today to talk about water filtration and how to make water safe to drink. That's what I call a quality tool. So most people want to know how we go from this type of water to this type of water and why we need to do that. Reasons why we can't just drink this water that's coming out of the spring in the backcountry or it's in a stagnant pond. Uh, this water holds many viruses, bacteria, protozoa, things that'll make us sick. Uh, when we do get sick from these viruses, the first thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna become dehydrated from uh, possible vomiting, having diarrhea, things like that. So it's going against everything you need to do as far as hydrating and taking in the water. Your heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Yay! So to go from this water to this water, uh, a simple process of filtration uh, can take place in different forms and fashions, whether it's boiling water on a cooktop stove, boiling water on a camp stove, things like that, to using up-to-date processes with UV light, all the way to basic filtration systems uh, that we're gonna show you today. So when dealing with water that you're trying to filter or purify and make potable, uh, you do want to be careful about water source, where you're getting your water from, right? If you have any sort of question if it's potable, you want to make sure you're applying some sort of filtration to it. Um, again, processes of boiling water can work. We have up-to-date methods, including UV filtration and purification. So a simple device like a SteriPen, um, you can utilize this for one to two liters. It does have a few drawbacks. It runs off batteries, um, but it does last for numerous rounds. And it's a simple process of using UV light to take care of the bacteria, viruses, things like Giardia. So what we include in the 72 hour kit is the Sawyer filtration system. It has a couple of parts. Um, it has a cleaning syringe here a simple straw to go into the filter, and obviously the water bladder and the filter itself. So we also want to talk about where we get water, uh, places to think about that probably aren't at the forefront of your mind. Um, you know, we talk a lot about the obvious, right? Dirty ponds, dirty rivers, dirty streams. Um, but obviously looking for clear water uh, that we may have to filter and purify. So. Anytime you have an event that you're gonna be without power or running water, be thinking about filling up your bathtubs, your sinks, filling up extra pot and pans in the kitchen. Um, having that water available to purify and filter later will help. Um, anytime you have backpacks or dry bags, for example, you can fill those up as well. And again, the idea is just having a lot of water available uh, when you won't have running water. Uh, a lot of other places, especially in urban settings that you wanna be thinking about, um, you know, office buildings, again, we talked about bathtubs, bathrooms, um, you know, being creative with the, the water in the back of toilets, right? Again, we can filter and purify those things, but be thinking about where you can find water uh, that you wouldn't typically think about. Uh, also, anytime you have rain runoff, right? Um, people collecting rainwater in barrels, um, sheds in the backyards, you know, even as far fetched as finding water that's stagnant sitting in the bottom of old tires or old cans in the backyard, or maybe junkyards, things like that. So always be thinking about where you can find water when it's not as obvious as dirty pond water, um, but looking for water that you can use to filter and purify and have available. So with the Sawyer filtration system, fairly simple process to go from dirty water to clean water, right? So if it's a running stream or a stagnant pond, you want to figure out how to fill up the bladder. Take this off, add in some of the pond water. Who knows what bacteria, viruses, Giardia we have going on in there. We're going to screw on the filtration system. Again, clean process, no moving parts. Open this guy up. We do recommend getting the filter wet before actually drinking and consuming. Start that process. And now we've taken the dirty pond water straight into clean, clear, safe, potable water. 
So the process of cleaning the filtration systems, uh, it's quite user friendly. You basically take the filtration system, um, add in the syringe that comes with the, the filtration kit. You do want to use clean water uh, when cleaning the filtration system. The process is quite easy. Once you have clean potable water available, you can suck it up through the syringe, apply the syringe to the drinking end. And this is crucial that it is the drinking end. And then you're going to flush out the dirty water through the filtration end. 